Imagine being able to control things like your car or even your television using only your thoughts. It's not as far from reality as you might think. A team at a children's hospital in Toronto is working on something pretty similar, and it's dramatically improving the lives of some of its patients. We sent our produ producer, Michael Hiscox, to check it out. It's not your average remote-controlled car. This teenager named Zen is driving it in an unusual way. We all had dreams of having superpowers when we were kids. But here at Holland Blue Review Hospital in Toronto, some of their patients are actually getting them. They do it through a technology that they call brain-computer interface. But I prefer to call it what I think it actually is, real-life telekinesis. Zen lives with cerebral palsy. He's nonverbal, but his expressions <laughs> say it all. We have a headset that has 16 different sensors, and these sensors pick up electrical patterns in the brain, so it's EEG technology. Those patterns get interpreted by software, and we, through the training process, teach the software to recognize when you're thinking about a specific command thought. Holland Blue Review is the first hospital in the world to use BCI technology for pediatric rehabilitation in a clinical setting. It's providing endless possibilities for patients like Zen and hope for their parents. He may be able to drive his own wheelchair, he may be able to uh, turn on his music if he wants to, turn off the lights, uh, change the temperature in the room if it's too cold or warm. <laughs> like, I have a whole bunch of things. <laughs> <laughs> making those choices and, and changing them if he wants to, you know, not waiting for somebody else to do that for him. Another patient with the program is Giselle. She's already driving at the age of eight. First, they strap her wheelchair onto a machine. And when she's ready... So each child or youth can have a different command thought. It's whatever resonates for them. Once the software's been trained, it will recognize that and translate it into an output. So it'll tell a remote control car to drive or a power chair drive, trainer to drive. Giselle, what resonates for her is go, go, go. She likes to go fast. Maybe a little too fast. <laughs> Giselle gave us a very spirited performance today. She almost ran over our camera guy, Basil. All right, nice. <laughs> yes, she did. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she was super excited. She's pretty good at DCI and controlling the wheelchair. She's, been she's a veteran. Oh, she's a veteran. Yeah, yeah. Having that kind of control, it makes a difference for her and for us as well. Of course, I couldn't leave without trying the technology myself. So am I going to fall in pits if I don't jump in here? Like, Super Mario? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just picturing just dying over and over again. So every time you think about flooring it, your character jumps. And when you're calm or not thinking about flooring it, uh, the character walks. He's, yeah, I'm not even thinking anything, and he's jumping like crazy. She, she's disappointed at my performance already. <laughs> This brain-computer interface technology, it gives them the opportunity to experience independence and agency and be able to control something themselves. Next, we definitely see Zen using BCI in every day for communication. If he can express himself in the fullest way, yeah. uh, that would be a dream come true for us. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Are you smiling? I'm smiling too. What a great group of kids. Thank you to Mike for that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.